I'm Alan Henderson, a broker at Henderson Real Estate. Welcome to the Ahwatukee History Project. In today's episode, Marty interviews a renowned landscape architect, A. Wayne Smith. Mr. Smith designed the master plan for the original Ahwatukee Retirement Community, Mountain Park Ranch, the Foothills, and Club West. In this episode, A. Wayne Smith discusses the explosion of development in the Southeast Valley. So Wayne, in 1984, Burns International bought 5,000 acres of the International Harvester Proving Grounds. They joint ventured with Dell Webb in 1986. They had a groundbreaking in terms of the uh, infrastructure. What was your role in the eventual foothills? Well, again, they wanted, uh, they being Dell Webb was our, our client, <clears throat> and it had been fairly well when you do a master plan you in you show different land uses in in the appropriate areas and because of the nature of the excavation and grading from the proving ground they wanted to utilize the hills and as much of the i don't like to use the term scar but the, the mountains were scarred pretty pretty heavily, <clears throat> and it functioned well for their purpose, but then for development. And it's trying to transition it into a, a, a living community, you might say. A, and ours mainly were doing uh, subdivisions within, or parcels. We would do parcels and then subdivide, show lot lines and so forth. Um, and and uh, uh, I don't think we did as much on the landscape treatment in, uh, uh, as we did in Mountain Park Ranch. We did most of the, the, uh, the landscape in the parks and the, uh, the streetscape and so forth. Mm -hmm. But uh, the main thing in both Mountain Park Ranch and Foothills, that it was fortunate to have clients that understood the value of the terrain of the hills and how to how it provided uh, <clears throat> nice uh, um, areas for uh, privacy and, and identification ambiance yes thank you yes that's some of that too a lot of that <laughs> but it, it was much easier to work in that kind of a situation uh, if you wanted to compare it to Awatuki from Ray Road North, it was virtually flat. Mm -hmm. And it didn't have quite the character that the properties uh, south did. Right. Burns purchased 5,000 acres, and only about half of that was usable. A couple of schools of thought there as to he paid too much or he got a great value. What's your thought on that? We were never involved in that, so I don't. I really couldn't answer. Uh, it, that could have been possibly why he had economic problems, because I know he did move to the west side mm -hmm. uh, near the white tanks and uh, had problems there too. And whether it was management or whether it was, uh, we we did not do anything for him over there. Right. And actually, I don't think we ever did anything for him personally. It was always Del Webb. Okay. Your former client, Charlie Keating, eventually sold his share of the joint venture at Mountain Park Ranch and went and purchased the Collier Evans Ranch, the square mile that became Lakewood. Now, I know you weren't involved with Lakewood, but uh, we do know that the first thing Keating did, Keating did was build a couple of big lakes. Any thought there in terms of your former client and his affinity for uh, water? Well, he seemed to always like water. I mean, it, it, uh, it was a, it sells real estate, <laughs> and it, uh, it's how you use it. Uh, some of other projects he's done, I don't know that he's used the water quite as effectively. Uh -huh. But uh, I really have not been into Lakewood to understand the, 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 the philosophy. It was... Uh, a group from, uh, I think, Denver master planned that, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, yeah. And, uh, or Aspen or, or in Colorado. But uh, uh, I know those folks 
were well known, very well known uh, master planners. Mm -hmm. Beyond Ahwatukee foothills or the future Ahwatukee foothills, you did quite significant develop. Or I should say, you did quite significant planning for things like um, McCormick Ranch, Ocotillo. Anything you'd like to say about either one of those developments? Well, I guess maybe I think we hit it slightly, but as we grew older and got more experience, I think each one, like Awatuki, I felt Mountain Park was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I think it was the same when we were dealing in uh, with McCormick Ranch. Uh, we did phase two, three, and four of McCormick Ranch. Uh, Victor Gruen did phase one, and then we did other three phases. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Wayne. What, what, <coughs> when would this be? The early 1970s, perhaps? Yes, yeah. I would say mid-70s, and uh, they all sort of hit a secret. I mean, it was a wonderful thing. There always seemed to be another nice project following, <laughs> and, and they did each stair step, and whether we got smarter, I, I would hope maybe we got smarter with experience, uh -huh. and uh, because when we started, we we were all young 30-year-olds, and uh, as we hit 40s, we, uh, I think, uh, did much better. We had more to offer, maybe is a better term. The 70s seemed like an explosive time in the valley, or certainly the Southeast Valley, for development. Uh, Ahwatukee Foothills began. Mm -hmm. You had Mountain Park Ranch, Fountain Hills about the same time. What accounted for this relative explosion in development? Well, it's just the valley, the popularity of, of people wanting to live here. And uh, it's going to be an interesting thing. What is it they predict? By 2025, that there will be another million people Have it help us. here, and uh, it's where do we put them? And I think it's obvious now that the cities are going for high densities. You're mm -hmm. seeing um, multi-story. Uh, we don't have people like Herb Drinkwater, the wonderful mayor of Scottsdale saying he would never allow a building taller than his Stetson hat <laughs> riding a horse in Scottsdale. But uh, bless his heart, he's not here, right. and, and the barn door's open, and it looks like everybody, the unfortunate things going on around you know, in California or the other parts of the country, we're blessed with something very, very special. And people want it. Yeah. 